Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. So this is your full moon reading, everyone. We have the full moon gracing our skies on June the 21st. Now this full moon is also known as the strawberry full moon and it's in the sign of Capricorn. I love this energy because things are gonna feel a little bit more grounded and stable in our lives, especially with our emotions. Those of you that are feeling like that's not the case, it's a perfect time to cultivate these energies because it's in the air, to implement and practice grounding techniques. Now. Now, it's also a good time right now to review your lives to see how far it is you come from January until now to where it is that you're going over the six months to have some solid plans of action in order to reach those goals okay so what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the enchanted forest oracle deck then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by an animal spirit card and then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you today so with these cards I might not understand them so I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you today and then I'm going to close off with an angel number for you so those of you that are watching if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any repeating numbers or angel numbers patterns or symbols this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right Leo let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this full moon energy so we are getting for you my friends Raise the bar. It's time for you to raise the bar here, Leo. I don't know if any of you are seeing a blue bird like this in anywhere in your life. This is your confirmation today. If you aren't, you're seeing one now on your screen. So look at that. The message here is when you set higher standards for the people and situations in your life, you create space for new levels of joy and abundance. Rise above old patterns. So once again, when you set higher standards for the people and situations in your life, you create space for new levels of joy and abundance. Rise above old patterns. So this is where you're raising the bar not only for yourself, but for other people in your life, okay? So blue bird, everyone, this is a blue jay. That's what it's called, this bird. So if any of you are seeing a blue jay, confirmation's coming in. All right, let's pull some cards here. We've got the Seven of Cups. This is a beautiful incoming energy of blessings, of opportunities. And this is something that you have cultivated and set off to start coming into your life. Now, the number seven is a spiritual number. So there is something spiritually happening here with you. Now, um, again, the number seven also is a, a number that asks you to look inward. All right, so the Seven of Cups to start. We have the seven of wands. So we're getting double sevens for you today. Leo, pay attention to the number sevens in your life. Some of you might be a life path number seven. Perhaps you're born on the seventh or seven is a lucky number for you. Now I'm getting a little bit of ruffling of energies here, a little bit of static disturbance in your life. This is where spirit asks you to stand strong in the face of adversity or challenges, okay? Protect your energy from other people's energy as well. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So grounding here is going to be very important. And we have this energy of grounding in the air right now. So pull that energy in, implement some practices in your life around grounding. Nine of Pentacles, look at this success. This is where all of your hard work and your efforts pay off. This is fruition. This is attainment for you, fulfillment, right? So look at this. This is such a beautiful energy. This is where you feel really good about what you're doing in your life. All right, so the Nine of Pentacles. 
I really like this as long as you're aware of the things that are challenging you and not looking them at not looking at them as challenges but growth opportunities this is where you're really going to win here Leo now before I begin I wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience these cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives this is also a general reading for you today so those of you that are watching if my reading isn't resonating for you please leave it behind but also check out your moon and your rising signs so look at this, you've activated these blessings and these opportunities, this incoming energy of joy and excitement in your life. You're in alignment with your desires and your dreams as well. So there's a lot of opportunities and things that you can make choices and decisions around, okay? And this is where you're really in alignment with your heart center. This is your heart's path. This is what you're aligning to. So what is it that you desire in your life, Leo? Where do you see yourself going over the next six months? And how are you showing up and choosing to uh, use that energy in the world? Right? This is a spiritual number. So I do feel spiritually you are growing. You are ascending. You're also reaching a higher frequency of a higher vibration where you have a little bit more power to work with. This is you wielding your power. And this is you actually applying your knowledge and everything that you have accumulated over the course of your life in order to create the life you desire. Now, the other thing is what I'm getting is some of you taking in a lot of knowledge. Perhaps you're watching a lot of universal laws, manifestations, law of attraction, um, you know, more sacred knowledge, information, perhaps on Reiki, spiritual stuff, right? And now it's one thing to take all of this information, information, but it's another to actually apply it in our lives. How many of you are applying some of the knowledge that you are acquiring in your life? This is a card where it asks you everything that you're taking in internally, everything that is going on internally with you is now being reflected into your reality. So if you are someone that doesn't like where you are in life right now, it's all about creating that within yourself right? It, it, it means that you need to look inward for the answers in order to clear some of the things that are holding you away from your desires and your goals and to work on yourself in order to see that outward reality shift in your favor, right? So I do feel that some of you are working on yourselves. And as you are working on yourself, you're starting to notice the changes. These changes are coming in. This is a confirmation for you. So those of you that are watching today, if you're wondering um, what's kind of happening in your out, uh, outer reality here compared to what's going on inside, do you know yourself well enough to know what it is that you want in your life? Spirit's been wanting me to ask this question to all of you is, what is it that you, who, who are you and how do you see yourself in this reality? What version of you are you trying to get to, right? Because that version of you, you're already connected. All you have to do is bring that energy into your life. So for example, um, I've been doing a lot of animal flow, yoga and calisthenics. And I always visualize myself doing it, but I never applied uh, any energy towards it. So recently over the last six months, I've joined yoga, I have joined calisthenics, and I'm practicing everything at home so I become better at it. I'm visualizing myself with another YouTube channel where I'm actually teaching everyone how to do animal flow, calisthenics, and all of that kind of stuff. So this is again where you are taking steps to create the dream that you desire, the goals that you want to come to fruition, whatever it is that you're wanting to happen in your life, you are the one that has to take that first step. You have to become an active participant in creating that reality. So there's definitely something going on spiritually for you, but it's, it's a creation within you that is going to reflect in your outer experience, right? So again, some of us might be going through challenges, some turbulent energy right now. The other thing is, um, the reason why we have to look inward when we're going through challenges and things we can't um, seem to get through, that we feel like we can't get through or it's just too hard. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can get through this. Call on your spirit guides for that strength. Know that when we go inward to look for those answers, those answers do come. But whatever it is that you're going through, especially if it's a tough situation, if it feels like an obstacle or a challenge in your life, because this is what it's showing me that some of you are going through some sort of turbulent energy. And you're meant to actually go, go through this because once you've activated that manifestation, once you've activated that version of you, if you're not in alignment energetically to that timeline, to that higher self, 
then Spirit sends us some um, obstacles and challenges. It's almost like an obstacle course where you are growing, you are learning, you are evolving and becoming that version of you. So whenever we have a challenge or something that shows up in our life, this is where we're grateful, like, oh my gosh, I'm going through this. This is a sign that everything that I desire is coming into my life, okay? So any kind of disturbances or anything that's ruffling your feathers, remember, this is an opportunity for you to really face what it is that you're going through to come out with flying colors, right? Ask spirit guides for guidance because they will guide you. Look at this woman. She has a lot of light around her mind. She is um, enlightened here. There's a lot of knowledge and information coming in for her to actually understand what it is that she go she's going through, what kind of energy she needs to equip herself with in order to get through this. So Spirit is really asking you to equip yourselves with the right kind of energy in order to tackle whatever it is that you're going through. So um, if you're going through a really tough situation and you're not sure what to do, maybe ask for, for help, support from someone that you trust, uh, even asking for outside support. So seeing like a counselor or a couch or a couch, oh my gosh, a, a coach or a counselor, a therapist even, right? Uh, a mentor. So I'm seeing somebody sitting on their couch. That's why I'm seeing the, I'm saying the word couch here. Um, the other thing is, um, maybe there's someone else's feathers that are being ruffled because of the changes that you are making in your own life, Leo. Perhaps I feel that um, you're protecting yourself because you're changing and you're shifting and outside energies might not be in alignment with what you're doing. So this is where you protect your energy. You focus on what you're focusing on and don't worry about the energies around you. Now, I've been in situations where there was a lot of chaos and I had to create my own happy in the space and energy that I was in. It was hard to do, but I had practices that I implemented in my life. I used to do a lot of meditation, right? This really helped. Um, reading books and even writing helped me. So whatever works for you, remember we are all different. You know best what, what's going to work for you. Music for me is another one that really uplifts my energy depending on the music I'm listening to and it totally sets the mood for me, right? So implement practices in your life where you're able to keep yourself focused on what it is that you're doing, your own energy and not allowing other energies to um, throw you off course here, okay? Um, Positive affirmations is another one. There's something else being activated here. I'm not sure what this is. There's almost like this information or knowledge or something that you're tapping into that's giving you um, um, expansive knowledge, like much more knowledge than normal. Like, I don't know if any of you are diving into books recently or you're taking a course, but there's almost like this leveling up upgrade that is happening. This is why maybe you're feeling this like, earth beneath your feet shaking. Maybe there's like ruffles happening here in energy. Perhaps you're feeling this up and downy, um, you know, up and downs in vibration in your life and you can't explain it. Now this does partially have to do with the solar flares from the sun. I'm getting sun energy coming in really intensely for you, Leo. Um, they're especially wanting you to um, pay attention to the number sevens because you are ascending, you are upgrading. Um, through this energy of the sun. So as we get these solar flares coming in, there's a major transformation that is happening globally, universally, but also individually and personally in our lives. So we are actually affected by the sun. And I do feel that some of you are going through an experience of an upgrade or ascension through the sun's energy. I don't know how else to explain it. So if any of you know any more information about that, you can share with me in the comment section below. Okay, so... Um, through this upgrade, this is where you really experience um, all the energy that you're putting out there. Everything that you're working towards, you are going to see fruition. You are going to see fulfillment in your life, whatever that means to you, however that looks to you. Some of us want financial success, so this is definitely coming in for you, especially if you're putting energy and effort in the things that you want to see growth in and really focusing on that, steering clear of distractions, but also implementing practices that are going to help you grow. I do see some of you working really hard. Perhaps you have one, two, three different things that you're working on. Um, know that we sometimes have to put energy towards one thing because uh, if we put our energy towards too many different things, we don't really see that much success unless you're a superhuman and you've done this 
and you've you have some sort of balance in your life right this is you really raising the bar this is where you're seeing the results of you raising the bar now the other thing is perhaps you're raising the bar and holding people accountable in your life right um, people that speak a lot of words but their actions don't match so you're calling them out on that um, you're helping others to really challenge themselves so I'm seeing someone like a trainer someone that coaches others maybe you are the mentor maybe you are the counselor you help others uplift them and inspire them and you see a lot of success so you have a lot of success stories that back your credibility your um, reputation here Leo very powerful and I do feel that you're a standalone success here um, so this could be something online that you have done so those of you especially that have a social media platform where you're uplifting inspiring teaching people you're going to see a lot of results here a lot of success but those of you that are doing this in your own physical life like if you're a personal trainer perhaps you teach yoga um, maybe you're a reiki healer something to do with healing i'm seeing a lot of really good um, results coming through your efforts and they're wanting you to make sure that you do make adjustments as necessary as you move along so if you're not seeing the success you're imagining in your mind perhaps it's time to take a different route or to adjust or make a little bit, few changes here um, with what it is that you are doing now um, some of you had a lot of success in your life and you're in a place where you're really ascending to a different energy a different space this is almost on a spirit spiritual level here where but it's not all about the money it's more about uh, your connection here your spiritual purpose so there's a connection to your purpose happening and I'm getting somebody that might be in their 40s they're showing me actually somebody who has accomplished a lot in their life and they're moving on to that next chapter and that ne next chapter it's almost like you're meandering along your purpose but you're trying to figure out okay what's next for me here I've done this that and the other thing there's something else that you're wanting to do so this is where um, quietude uh, going inward and really understanding okay what have I learned over the course of my life here what have I gone through what are the experiences that I can share with people through your self-expression um, through your uh, creativity here right this is where you're meant to channel energy so if there's something sitting on your mind here Leo those of you that maybe have a lot of um, emotions that haven't been dealt with um, things that you have suppressed and maybe they're starting to surface now this is where the seven of wands energy is coming in perhaps you're feeling challenged maybe it's a competition or some sort of a deadline um, it's a lot of different things that are coming in some physical right and some spiritual here but there's like this um, connection to your higher path this um, so there's something that you have mastered Leo that you're meant to share with the world this could be just the story of your life the story of everything that you have experienced and how you've overcome it I hope I'm making sense but I do feel that there's something much more that you're meant for here and it's, it has to do with um, something that like you are a chosen one I feel we all are right we're all chosen ones we're meant to do something different in our life and I feel this part of you is now being activated and you're meant to apply some of the knowledge that you have acquired over the course of your life to turn it into something like turn it into something productive so this could be you speaking this could be you writing a book maybe singing poetry um, teaching doing courses being a healer okay because there's more success coming to you and I'm seeing multiple streams of income so perhaps some of you are trying to build a business that is going to have multiple streams of income this is where you make passive income as well Leo so I'm seeing a lot of this coming to fruition for you so those of you that have big dreams keep dreaming big here because these dreams are coming to fruition for you you have activated something and there's many different things that are coming in so look at these different streams of income in alignment with all of these cups that are coming in so blessings opportunities growth advancement um, so much is happening happening here for you an increase in your income as well through the nine of Pentacles you're going to see that okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card a spirit animal card from the power animals Oracle deck I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook so those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance and anything more that spirit wants to share with you is also going to come through this card all right so we are getting for you Leo 
Horse, look at that. Have any of you seen a horse? This is your confirmation today. If you haven't, you're seeing one now. Now, some of you might be a, a horse spirit through Chinese astrology. I'm an earth horse in uh, Chinese astrology. So that's also coming in as a confirmation. So the message here is embrace your untamed spirit and find liberation in your journey. Freedom isn't just a destination. So look at that. All right, I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. So horse. All right, here we are, horse. So in the vast landscape of life, we often find ourselves yearning for freedom. It's an innate longing, much like the wild spirit of the horse yearning to run free across open plains. The horse, majestic and untamed, offers a profound lesson in the art of liberation. Consider the horse's spirit. It knows no boundaries, no limitations. It's an embodiment of pure, unbridled freedom. When we look to this majestic, when we look to this magnificent creature, we see not just a symbol of independence, but a guide for our own journey towards liberation. Freedom, you see, is not merely a destination, a distant point on the horizon. It's not a place where we suddenly arrive one day, casting off the shackles of responsibility or doubt. No true freedom is found in the exhilarating ride along the way. Think of it as a horseback journey where the reins are in your hands. With each stride, you move closer to your desires. Yet freedom isn't about recklessness. It's about purpose and intention. Just as a skilled rider communicates with their horse through subtle cues, you too must learn to communicate with your intentions to the universe. Release the reins of doubt, fear, and insecurity. Let them fall away like leaves in the wind. Embrace the reins of confidence, courage, and self-belief. Take the lead in your own life's journey, for you are the rider of your destiny. Gallop towards your dreams with unwavering faith. Feel the wind in your hair, the earth beneath your feet, the and the exhilaration of the open field of possibilities in front of you. Every step you take is a testament to your power, your determination to live life to the fullest. So look at that. Embrace the energy of the horse, everyone. All right, I'm now going to pull three personal messages for you. So feel free to pause this video, take a deep breath and open yourself up to spirit. I want you to place these messages wherever they resonate for you today. So we are getting today, Leo. First message, don't fear a blank canvas. Use it to turn your life into a masterpiece. So look at that once again. Don't fear a blank canvas. Use it to turn your life into a masterpiece. All right, next message. Don't soothe your pain with momentary pleasures. Don't soothe your pain with momentary pleasures. And your third card, I promise you it does get better. I promise you it does get better. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. So those of you that are watching, some of you may have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting... In process, things are in process right now. So the number 1010, 10, if you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, this is your confirmation today. So sometimes we can see these on home addresses, on a cell phone number, um, in a cell phone number, or uh, even on a clock, right? So tens, this is a confirmation. Those of you looking for timing, 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, 10 hours, and the 10th of the month. All right, so it's time for a change in your life, Leo, for some of you. Um, know that you're on, a, on the right track, but you're moving in a new direction here. There's messages coming in for you as well, so pay attention to those messages that might be coming through signs, dreams, um, even you passing by and hearing just a little bit of someone's conversation that r resonates for you around something that you are seeking an answer to. Soul evolution. This is a part of your soul evolution. So look at that, Leo. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.